Sound Off is a public interest forum that encourages your voice to be heard on the topics and issues impacting our local communities. For the next 30 minutes, we invite you to be part of the conversation by calling 219-362-0522. And you can now text your questions to the Liquor Vault on air line or by email to soundoff at 967theeagle.com. This is a topic-based program, and we ask that you keep your comments brief, concise, and related to the topic being discussed. The views expressed on Sound Off are those of the host or callers and do not represent the opinion of 96.7 The Eagle, Spoon River Media, LLC, or the sponsors. The Liquor Vault on air line is now open for your calls or texts at 219-362-0522. This is Sound Off on 96.7 The Eagle. Hello, friends. Welcome to Sound Off. Good to have you on the show today. Good to have you listening. I'm sure we've got lots of people tuning in, and I want you to know at the top of the show... Uh, today's an important day here around the studio. Today is Roof Sit, the 20th anniversary of Roof Sit. And so if you've not been listening, I hope you listen now because this is a great cause. Uh, helping children have a good Christmas this year uh, by helping them have presents, these kind of things. Uh, Dennis has been doing this for years, uh, for years and years. As you know, Dennis is an old, old man, um, and he's been doing it for for about 20 years. Uh, I think he started when he was about 85. And um, it, it's such a worthy cause. And so if you have a little bit of money, stop down here um, to the studio, uh, bring $5, $10, $20, $1,000, $1, whatever you got laying around in your pocket, and donate it because we want to make sure that as many kids in LaPorte County have good Christmases as possible. Uh, I got a, an update, and this is this is a little dated, so maybe uh, Dennis can text me or something because I know he, he listens. Um, the last number I heard was $16,000 as of 10 a.m., which is amazing. Uh, you know, we raise funds through the PAC Center, these kind of things. I can tell you this, LaPorte County is a generous county. They're kind, you're compassionate, and uh, when you know there's a need, uh, you meet the need. And so today there is a need. I hope you stop down here to the studios here in LaPorte. Um, and uh, you're a business, you're an individual. It, it matters. Uh, I, I know every parent that struggles financially uh, when it comes around Christmas time, you know, uh, you, you get anxious, you get, you go through this kind of hardship about it. Um, and knowing that somebody's there to help is a big deal. So if you can if you could do that, again, $5 a dollar, come down and buy some lunch or something uh, here at the studio today. It'd be good to have you. So today on Sound Off is our last open show. Uh, starting on Monday, we've got our election shows uh, starting. And I can tell you this, you are going to be listening to some great shows coming up because I have contacted candidates that are running for office that are going to impact your life, right? So we've got the sheriff's race, we've got county council races, we've got the assessor's uh, candidates coming on the show, and we're going to ask them questions. And both of them are going to be on the show. So, for instance, on Monday, we've got Andy Hynek and Ron Heeg coming on the show, uh, and I'm going to be talking to them, having a conversation about the campaign, about the race, uh, about what their policies and what they their beliefs and what their passions are for this sheriff uh, sheriff's race and why you should vote for one of them. The nice thing about having those two on first is they're good guys. They like each other. There's going to be no fighting, but I hope they will differentiate themselves in some ways to say these are the things that you know maybe are most pressing. These are the things that I want to do. Um, and then after that, we're going to have the assessors on. Uh, on Friday, next Friday, uh, John Mattiswin and Mike Schultz. Uh, then Monday, September 19th, we've got Justin Keel and Mike Kellums. Friday, September 23rd, Aaron Kirk and Randy Novak. Monday, September 26th, Deb Vance and Mark Yagelski have been invited. Uh, I've not heard back from them. Friday, September 30th, Mike Rosenbaum and then Spivak. And so I hope, again, I hope you can listen, uh, be a part of that. Uh, Monday, October 3rd is the County Commissioner, District 1. Uh, Connie Gramarosa and Sheila Matias. Um, not all of these candidates have confirmed yet. So if you're listening around, you know, just send an email back to your boy. You know, just just do the right thing. Send it back. Say you're going to come on with the other person, and let's have this show on. Uh, it's important to know your candidates. It's important to know what they stand for. It's important to know what they believe. I can tell you this locally. Um, you know, we've got Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians. It just doesn't matter as much as you think. And I know we've got listeners that disagree with me, but 
knowing the person, knowing what they stand for, knowing what they believe, knowing their passions, knowing what they want to do is so vitally important. So I hope you listen to these shows coming up. If you ever miss a show, know that you can always listen to our podcast. You can go to hometownnewsnow.com uh, and listen there as well. So what's on your mind? 219-362-0522. One of the things I want to talk about and get your opinion, you can always text me as well is you know comp people complain about who is on their ballot every election cycle well i just wish we had better candidates i wish more people were running i wish they had more options but then i talk to people a few people want to actually run for office we have races where both parties had to pick people after the primary to be on the ballot because not enough people stepped forward and said i want to run that race so i don't know, know from you maybe maybe you got an idea on this what stops you from running for office is it the time necessary? You just got a busy job, you got busy family, you got busy obligations, you just don't have the time to do it. Is it the money? Let's be honest. Uh, there, there's not a lot of money in local politics. Uh, you don't get paid real well. Um, is it the chaotic atmosphere? You don't want to get involved in the you know pig style of local politics. What is it? What 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 is it that for you stops you from wanting to get involved? And I'd love to hear from you. You can always text me your answer too two one nine three six two zero five two two because I'm I, I'm just really curious about this. We have fewer and fewer candidates running, um, but a lot of people very interested in politics. So what stops you from getting involved? Two one nine three six two zero five two two. Let's get to our first caller. Hey, thanks so much for listening to the show. What's on your mind today? Today is our final open show before our election shows. Well, I would just like to, since you're going to be getting to have the candidates on, yep. inform the people. Ask them questions. Don't concern yourself with the D or the R, as you said. Ask the questions that concern you. We have more power here locally if we would install better candidates. Or not, not install, I hate to use that word. Yet. <laughs> uh, vote them in, vote them in. Yeah. Uh, and again, folks, think about what your tax bills were years ago. The only number you should be concerned about is the total dollar amount. And this recycled government we keep having year after year after year, it's the same people. It's sad. It, is, it can be time-consuming to run. I've run three times, and I'm not done with this county yet. Uh, get involved. Ask the questions. Call up this show. Write opinion pieces. Go out and ask the people these questions. Um, that's the only way they're going to know what your concerns are if you if you ask them questions. If you don't ask, they don't know. They're going to do what they're, what they're told by their party masters. Mm -hmm. So call up. Sound off, folks, when these candidates are on. Be brief, succinct. And ask your question, and then let them answer them. But remember, ask the tough questions. Don't be willy-nilly with them. Ask them about what their plans are for the future, what they're going to do, what can they do to help shrink the size of government, what can they do to help lower our taxes and provide for ourselves. Just my thoughts. Thank you, sir. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Thanks for calling, Steve. Have a good day, buddy. Have a good weekend. Um, let's get to another caller. Hey, thanks so much for listening to the show today. What's on your mind? Hey, Nate. Hey. Thanks for having me. I'll just wanted to, to ask a question regarding schools yep um and school funding so you know i got two small kids they're mm -hmm. both under five and uh, i was listening to stan today during the news and he was talking about that uh, uh michigan city folks were driving over to uh to westville and i was just wondering how you know schools pretty well and uh how funding works so if you if you wouldn't mind could you did you talk about that for a little bit? Because, you know, some of us with uh, small kids, we're going to be having, having to face this. T tell me real quick again, what, 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 what is your specific question? How does funding work for the schools? Because it, it is, you know, each school gets an amount of money from the state, from property, all these kind of things. But the state allocates the money per student. So when we transfer a student, right, um, so let's say uh, you live in Laporte, but you're sending your kid to Michigan City or you're sending your kid from Michigan City to Laporte or New Prairie, the money for that student that the state would give Michigan City schools now goes to Laporte because that's where that kid goes. Um, and so, uh, you know, so it, it certainly impacts the school if we have a, a significant amount of people leaving one school district and going to another because all of that money then, even though it, it's it's paid by local taxpayers in that school system goes towards those other schools because they're choosing to send their their kids there so i don't know if so that how, answers your question but yeah go ahead yeah so how does that work with uh you know like uh these private schools 
and uh, funding for that. I know there are scholarships for that and tuition discounts that the private schools have. Well, what about, uh, are some of those same funding challenges there as well? Yeah, that's a great question. So there's there's different categories, right, of schools, private schools. There are schools that accept what we call vouchers from the state, which uh, essentially includes them um, uh, and makes them, the legislator allows them to take taxpayer-funded money um, towards their private school. Now, where this gets a little bit controversial is these private schools don't have school boards, right? They don't have elected officials. They don't have these kind of things. And so a lot of people complain about that because, um, you know, they, they don't have that. Uh, they don't have people to oversee them in the same way that public schools do. Um, where other people celebrate that is that, you know, if you're paying your tax dollars, you want to choose where your kid goes to school. And so they think that they've got an option then to choose. Not every private school accepts vouchers, though. You know, not everyone. For instance, we've got a, a school here in LaPorte County that doesn't. Lillamere doesn't accept vouchers. You have to pay the cost that Lillamere charges. Uh, there are other schools. I think Marquette High School does accept vouchers. Um, and so they accept tax money uh, for students. So if you decided you have a high school student and you wanted to send your kid to Marquette, you might have to pay a little extra. I don't know. But your tax money then can go towards that private school. So, but the school has to decide whether or not they want to, because if they decide they want to do that, there are some stipulations from the state that they have to follow. Not all, not the same, but all uh, they do have some stipulations. So I hope that Ooh. I hope that helps a little bit. But yeah, it is it's it's confusing. You know, you've also got charter schools. You've got all these other things, um, and we can certainly have a, another conversation about education. It's a topic uh, that I'm I'm passionate about, and we're going to have in these uh, run of shows in October. I think I'm, I've got the Laporte school system uh, school board candidates scheduled. I don't have them booked yet, but I do have them scheduled because I'd like to ask them about some of these funding issues as well. As we're talking about teacher shortages, as we're talking about you know. Um, you know, we had Ed Gillen on a, a recent show and Ed talked about, you know, the cost of sports and sports facilities and investments needing to be made, these kind of things. You know, all that comes from money, tax money, you know, money raised from sporting events, all these kind of things. So how to use that money when there's only a certain amount of it, but you're competing. Laporte is competing as a school system against New Prairie. Laporte is competing as a school system against Westville, against South Central, um, because of the way that the, the system is built. And so you also feel the need as a school system to compete in that way, in the offerings that you have educationally, um, in the uh, amount of uh, um, educators you can provide, in the school size, or in the class size, in the amount of your facility, or the quality of your facilities, these kind of things. So it's an interesting um, interesting topic and, and one that I'm glad you called about because we can talk for days about it. All right, it's an open show, 219-362-0522. I still want to hear from you. What's stopping you from running for office? Is there something? Do you not want to get involved with politics? You're listening to the show right now. You're listening to the sweet voice of Nate Laux talking about local politics. So what's stopping you from running for office? Is it the time necessary to run? Is it the campaigning? Is it the cost of a campaign? Is it the money you get paid to do it? Is it the chaotic atmosphere, the pigsty of politics? What is it that's stopping you? Maybe you thought about it and you said, nah. Or maybe like you, like me, your, your, your spouse said, nah, for you. Um, but I'd love to hear from you, uh, 209-362-0522. Uh, we're going to take our, quick, uh, our first break. We'll be right back here in a few minutes. Thanks so much for listening to Sound Off. Keep listening to 96.7 The Eagle. For over 50 years, Laporte has trusted Cannon's Automotive Service for prompt, efficient, same-day service. And that same Cannon's commitment extends to area businesses who rely on a fleet of one or many to take your goods or service to the customer. Whether it's the truck or trailer that needs maintained or fixed, trust Cannon's Automotive to maximize your productivity with same-day service. Now with two Cannon's locations, 710 Tyler Street and 909 Boyd Boulevard. With Cannon's Automotive, we fix everything. 
Mark your calendar for the end of summer celebration at David Taylor Michigan City Chrysler. Bring the family and friends to 501 Highway 20 in Michigan City on Saturday, September 10th from 9 to 5. Food trucks, live DJ, TV giveaway, car show from noon until 3. Bounce house, dunk tank, along with other games. Plus 96.7 The Eagle broadcast live from 11 to 1. And if you're in the market for a car, then check out the lowest prices of the year. It's the end of summer celebration Saturday the 10th from 9 until 5 at David Taylor Michigan City Chrysler. Surf Broadband Solutions is now Surf Internet. They have a new name, but are still serving LaPorte with the same fast fiber internet and local customer care team. Get one gig speed and a free whole home Wi-Fi router for the incredibly low price of $65 a month. No contracts and free installation and a price that's locked for life. Surf Internet is expanding to more neighborhoods every day. So visit surfinternet.com to check your address or call 844-955-SURF for details. Limited time offer and some restrictions apply. Tech Credit Union makes home loans easy. Their experienced loan officers can help you buy your first home, make your next move, or simply refinance your current mortgage. They can also help you unlock your home's equity to get the cash you need for any purpose. Let Tech Credit Union show you why they are the better option for a home loan. To learn more, visit techcu.org or contact the Laporte branch at 219-266-3100. That's 219-266-3100. Tech Credit Union is equal housing lender and federally insured by the NCUA. It's back. Ticket Tuesdays are back on 96.7 The Eagle. Be listening every Tuesday during the morning mayhem with Joe and Dennis for your chance to win tickets to an overnight stay at any Red Roof Inn or Washington Park Zoo family passes. So who doesn't like free stuff? Join Joe and Dennis on the morning mayhem every Tuesday between 6 and 9 a.m. for your chance to win during our Ticket Tuesday giveaway brought to you by LaPorte Community Federal Credit Union and 96.7 The Eagle. Michigan weather. 84 this afternoon under clear skies, southerly winds, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Partly cloudy tonight, 60. Slight chance for scattered storms tomorrow, 83. From the Weather Center at hometownnewsnow.com. Right now, 78. We're waiting to hear from you. Dial or text 3620522 and let us know what you think. That's 3620522. Back to Sound Off on 96.7 The Eagle. Welcome back to Sound Off today. I'd love to hear from you. 209-362-0522, last open show before our run of political shows starts. Talking to local candidates, uh, statewide candidates as well. We'll get to those, maybe some school board candidates, all the way through November. So we've got lots of candidates that are going to be coming into the studio to talk about what they believe and why you should vote for them and uh, why, why uh, you know, they're running. But I would like to know, why aren't you running? What stops you from running for office? Is it the time commitment? Is it money? Is it the chaotic atmosphere? Is it, you know, you just don't really want to get involved in politics like that? You like to follow it almost like a sport, but you don't want to get involved. What about school board? What about trustee? What about trustee board? What about these other ones that maybe aren't as, as, as public but they are still important. Why don't you run for those? What's stopping you? 219-362-0522. I also want to talk about what issues are most important to you as a voter in 2022. This is important for me because I'm going to be putting together some surveys for these candidates um, that we're going to put out to them. And I would love to know what you think is most important um, in this election cycle. Uh, you know, maybe a, a standard question that you want people to know or you want people to answer. Maybe it's about the corridor. Is that, you know, that's an ongoing topic here, uh, a corridor around Laporte. There's ideas about it. You know, the commissioners have some ideas. The Laporte uh, City Council and the mayor have some ideas. Uh, like most politics, those ideas don't align. Uh, yet, but hopefully they will in the future. There's a lot of strong opinions about it. Is that an important topic for you? Is it annexation? We've got um, issues of annexation here in Laporte, uh, in the 39 North area. There's annexation talk in Michigan City. All of that has to do with your commission, these kind of things about what they believe about annexation. Uh, the, the cool thing about county government is the commissioners have a lot of authority. They're the executive part of your government. And so you don't have to get, it's not like Congress, right? It's, it's, it's not even like a city council where you got seven people that got to vote on something. You got three. If two people want to vote one way, they win. And so, um, you know, when one person is running, when we got one commissioner up, that, that's a, a, a third of the, the executive 
power in our county. And so that's a big vote. So I'd love to hear from you. What do you what issues are most important to you as a voter? Here's a, a couple thing, a couple questions. This is a, a, a roof set question. Today is roof set. You need to support us here down here to, as we raise some money for uh, taking kids Christmas shopping this uh, winter. Here's the question. Roof set. When is T Berries going to be there? T Berries is already here, friend. They're already here. They're already cooking smash burgers. Where you at? I've been waiting. Get down here. Let's 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 have a smash burger together. All right. Uh, they look delicious. It's it's like a third pound of beef put together, smashed down into deliciousness. My buddy Adam Hannon is cooking some hot dogs that look great. And somebody said, "Are you going to have a hot dog? Or are you going to have a hamburger?" And I said. Why not just both? Why why do you have to pick, right? I, I'm not a I'm not a hater of the hamburger or a hater of the hot dog. I love all of the hot dogs and the hamburgers. And so I'm I'm gonna have both. So come down, buy yourself something, and uh, be a part of it. Here's a a, a comment. Thanks so much for texting us two one nine three six two zero five two two. You can call or text me. All right. I didn't want to run for office, but no one else wanted to. So I felt called to make the leap. Not sure if it was the right decision sometimes, but I stayed the course. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much again uh, for for running. Again, you never know if it's the right decision. And, and here's the thing. It's a, it's a remarkably vulnerable thing to run for office, right? You're, you, it's a, it's a, in, a, in many ways, it's a popularity contest. Whoever gets the most people to vote for them wins. And if you don't win, you know you got less, fewer people to vote for you. And so it's a hard thing to put yourself forward because you're you're asking people to trust you and to vote for you and to be a part of, you know, putting you into office. But there's always the risk of losing. And that's what would cripple me, right, um, is you, you go up in there and you, you risk losing. So I have such incredible respect for anyone running. It doesn't matter if you're going to win or lose, that you ran is a big deal to me because you're putting yourself out there. And it takes, you know, it's one thing to talk about it. It's one thing to write about it. It's one thing to be on your keyboard or, you know, listening to sound off or being like me, a blowhard on the radio to talk about it. It's a whole nother thing to say, you know what, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to go knock on doors. I'm going to go out and, and try to get people uh, to vote for me because I believe I can do the right thing for, for my neighbors. And so whether you win or lose, uh, candidates uh, that you ran is a big deal. Uh, but again, if you're complaining that there's not enough candidates or not the right candidates, why aren't you running? That's what I want to know. 219-362-0522. Here we go. Another, another text for us. Um, Run for a political office. I will vote for you now. I didn't know your standings before, and now I do. I agree with a lot. You do. Your Facebook friend, uh, Jeff Koontz. Oh, Steve Hollyfield. They want you to run for office, buddy. Steve, you, you've got people texting me for you to run for office. What is this? What is this? What is happening here? All right. I'd love to hear from you. 209-362-0522. Let's talk about why you're not running for office. Let's talk about the reasons why you think more people don't run for office. Let's talk about what is the most important topics that you think are uh, should be covered in 2022, that the questions you want me to ask these candidates, uh, the questions you want me to put out on the survey. You want to talk about something else? That's fine, too. We've got lots of headlines, right? I, I saw this um, uh, election mobile voting unit, you know, fiasco. Uh, you know, I read these stories, and I don't know about you, but just just get the thing out there. Just use it. We got it. Use it somehow. Figure out a way to get together. Get in a room together. You know, everyone hold hands for a little while. Sing something, uh, maybe kumbaya or something, and figure out how to do it together. Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. Figure out how to use that machine together. How to use that 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 van, that voting. It looks beautiful. The the graphics on it look great. Just use it. Um, I understand people are afraid that it could be used for partisan means. That's how, why you have to do it together. If my kids, who are 10, 12, and 14, can figure out ways to get along, so can you, your adults, get along. All right, here's another one. Uh, ask the candidates this. Was the 2020 presidential election stolen? I want every candidate to give a yes or no to that. I do not care if they're running for school board or surveyor or any other office. Surveyor is not running right now, just just to, to be sure. I, don't, uh, I do not want... 
to hear the answer to that does not pertain to the office I seek. If they believe that Donald Trump won the 2020 election, I need to know. That's 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 really interesting. Um, and it's interesting that you asked that because, um, again, there, there are these other topics. And I think where this texter, this listener here is coming from is, I think they would suggest that this says something about you as a person if you believe this to be true. And I'm sure there's other questions like that as well. Um, and I'd love to hear from you. What do you think I should ask the candidates coming up for commissioner, for council, for school board? What do you think is the most important topics? All right, we're going to take another break. We're going to be back here. Phone lines are open, 219-362-0522. I'd love to hear from you. Hey, also, don't forget, stop down here at the studios. Today is roof sit. You've been waiting all year for this. You've been saving up your pennies. You've got it all collected. You're going to come down. You're going to get a smash burger. And you know what? You're going to enjoy every bite of it because it's a smash burger and you haven't had one in a little while. You're going to come down and then you're going to say, you know what? I'm still hungry. I'm going to get a hot dog. And you're going to buy a hot dog or two. And I think there's even chili for those hot dogs. Isn't there, Boogie? Yeah. There is. There's chili for those hot dogs because it's an embarrassment of riches down here. So come down to the WCOE studios in Laporte, donate some money to the roof sit so that we can help children have toys and a good Christmas this year. Again, we got all these inflation. We got all these all these things. People could be losing jobs. You don't know. We're going to be there for them, but we need your help. Stop down here. WCOE Studios, and help us together as a community. All right, we're going to be back here just in a couple minutes on Sound Off, only on 96.7 The Eagle. Ben Conowitz here, owner of Laporte Seamless Cutter. My parents started Laporte Seamless Cutter in 1982 with one goal in mind, really. Our customers 100% satisfaction. And we are still providing the same customer service that Tim and Seal Conowitz started all those years ago. Give us a call today for a free estimate at 219-362-9972, or you can visit us on the web, www.lpseamless.com, 219-362-9972. At Metro by T-Mobile, you can save more now that you need it the most. Get one line of unlimited 5G for just $40, period. Taxes and fees included. That's the lowest price in prepaid. Plus, choose from the largest selection of free 5G phones from brands you love, like Samsung. Switch now and save more, only at Metro. If congested, the fraction of users greater than 35 gigabytes per month may notice reduced speeds, and Metro customers may notice reduced speeds versus T-Mobile due to prioritization. Video streams and SD requires eligible port in. See store for details. Here's another job opportunity from hometownnewsnow.com. Central States Manufacturing, a leader in metal roofing and metal siding, is hiring and looking for team members to join their employee-owned company. Medical, vision, dental, profit sharing, and employee stock ownership plan are just a few of the perks. Apply online at centralstatesmfg.com backslash careers or stop and apply in person at 2151 Tryon Road in Michigan City. This has been a Jobs Spotlight Extra. Look under Hot Topics at hometownnewsnow.com for job details. Swanson Center has been meeting the mental and behavioral health needs of LaPorte County since 1969. Our professional staff provides a full range of services including counseling, substance use treatment, and psychiatric care. We accept all Medicaid and Medicare coverage and are preferred providers for most types of insurance. For more information, call us at 219-879-4621 or visit our website at www.swansoncenter.org. Swanson Center, meeting the mental health needs of LaPorte County since 1969. Laporte High School Slicer Varsity Football is on 96.7 The Eagle. Tonight, the Slicers host the Chesterton Trojans. Slicer Football proudly brought to you by Auto Body Specialties, MC Doors, O'Brien's Battery and Tire, All-Star Autos, Cubit Networks, Raymond and Spence Insurance, Surf Internet, Back to Health Chiropractic, Laporte Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Rosie Michaels of Coldwell Banker First Choice, and by Marsh Insurance Agency. Join Chip Jones and Steve Mattering beginning at 6.45 tonight for Slicer Football Action on your radio home for Slicer Sports, 96.7 The Eagle. Dave, you guys built a new deck. Oh, yeah, it was easy. It's on a bit of a slant, but I can live with that. Yeah, you think? I thought it looked pretty good. I don't think that railing's up to code either. So, are we just going to stand here, or can we actually go on it? Oh, no, I don't trust it enough to actually go on it. No offense to Dave, but if you want the job done right, contact Powerhouse Construction in Laporte. Decks, patios, or kitchen and bathroom models, Powerhouse Construction will ensure Sure your satisfaction. Call 219-380-9981 to book a free estimate. That's 219-380-9981. Powerhouse Construction. Have an anniversary coming up? 
Enter the Tradio Anniversary Club. Every weekday at 9.30 a.m., we read all the anniversaries for the day. And every Friday, one lucky couple will receive a $20 gift certificate to Tony Floral and Gifts. To enter, go to 967theagle.com and click the Submit tab and enter your information right there. Or write the couple's name, address, phone number, and anniversary date on a 3x5 card and mail it or drop it off here at the Radio Center, 1700 Lincoln Way Place, Suite 5. The Tradio Anniversary Club, every weekday at 9.30 a.m. on 96.7 The Eagle. Garwoods is your U-Pick headquarters through October for the freshest fruits and vegetables and for a great family experience too. Check GarwoodOrchard.com or the Garwood Facebook page to see what's ready to pick today. Thank you for tuning in to Sound Off. You can now text or email your questions directly to the studio. Call or text 362-0522 or email your questions to soundoff at 967theeagle.com. This is Sound Off. Welcome back, friends. This is Nate Laux. You're listening to Sound Off on 96.7 The Eagle. Maybe you didn't know that, but you are. Hey, uh, we're having an open show, our final open show, before our run of shows for the election start. And so next Monday on the show, I'm very excited to host a Republican candidate, Ron Heeg, and Democratic candidate, Andy Hynek. They're running for sheriff. And so uh, listen to Monday's show, and we're going to talk about the sheriff. Uh, this is an interesting race for me because for you know eight years now, we've had John Boyd as the sheriff. John says done a great job as sheriff but he's he's now going to be retired maybe you know swimming in his pool or you know drinking daiquiris or whatever who knows he doesn't have to he doesn't even have to answer my calls anymore um but Ron Heeg and Andy Hynek, one of them will. So let's talk to them on Monday, Friday, County Assessor John Mattishwin and Mike Schultz. You might not even know what an assessor is, but we're going to talk about that. Because, again, uh, assessing the values of your home and property is an important thing that the county does. And that, you know, it can impact you if you're taxable, these kind of things. So we'll talk about that. And then a week from Monday, County Council District 1, Justin Keel, who's been on the show before, and Mike Kellums. We'll talk to both of them about, you know, what, what they, they, why they're running and what they think is the most important things. Then we'll just keep on going. So I hope you listen to those shows. I'm really, really excited about them. I think we're going to have a, some, some great conversations. And I think you as a voter, as a listener, is going to learn a lot about these people so that you know, know who to vote for on Election Day. All right, we've got an open show. If you want to call, 219 362 the liquor vault the liquor vault on airline is open you can also text me let's get to a caller hey thanks so much for calling the show good to have you on this beautiful friday september 9th what's on your mind today nate hi how are you good how are you i'm gonna be kind and polite and loving uh i just want to let you know you know and, and and i hope you let me speak here and don't just hang up Speaking of the question you were mentioning earlier, it was a little condescending towards some people, I think. There are a lot of people who believe, and I believe there's lots of evidence about the 2020 election. And I think it's a relevant question for everyone on both sides. For a guy who is our president to win 16% of the counties in this country, for states like Pennsylvania and Michigan, Ohio, to illegally change election laws in the middle of an election cycle, you may not consider that a stolen election. I consider that dangerous when Republicans in those states know, and they've already said openly, that those things were illegal because the Secretary of State had the right to change those, or the, I'm sorry, the legislators had the right to change those laws, not the Secretaries of State. So this is an important time, and if people feel it's stolen, they may not think that someone went out and changed votes, but the way that the laws were changed in the middle of that election, yeah, there was some things that were really weird, okay? Let's just be real, and I just want to- All right, to real quick, because I, I know you're getting, you're getting excited here. So the question about the election security stuff was not mine. It was given to you. It was sent in, and they said that that's important to them. So thank you so much uh, for calling. It's not that I don't, again, you can have your belief about this. I, I would argue that, again, there's been no evidence that the, there's been a lot of courts that have decided there was no evidence of any election fraud. Um, I know there's been a lot of suits that have brought there, but still no courts have sided with them. So it's not a Republican or Democrat thing. It's a, it's a courts thing, right? If there's, if there is something wrong there, but here's, here's where I think you're, you're misunderstanding. It's not that I'm going to. I'm going to ask the local candidates. I asked our listeners 
what they believe is an important question, and they believe that an important question is what they, the candidates believe about the election and whether it was stolen. For this listener, and maybe for you, what's most important is that the candidates believe it was stolen. That's fine if that's on, on your mind. But that was the whole point is this listener believes that if a candidate Regardless if they're running for school board or whatever, if they believe that the election was stolen for that listener, that, that, that is a non-negotiable for them. And so that was the question, and they answered the question. So again, we're not going to talk about election security stuff or election um, because that's not the point of the, the show here. I was just asking what you guys thought is the most important questions. All right, 209-362-0522, I'd love to hear from you today. What is uh, some of the most important questions that you think... Uh, we should be asking in 2022. Again, this previous caller, and again, it's fine that you believe that, um, thinks that, again, election security, that the election was stolen, um, is important. It's interesting, right? We got two callers, two listeners. One believes that it's important that somebody says that the election was stolen. Another believes that it's important that they're not gonna vote for anybody that says the election was stolen. So it's on both sides here. Um, all right, America as we know it. Um, uh, that's just the text. Thank you so much um, uh, for texting that. All right. I want to remind you again uh, tonight on this station, uh, we've got uh, the LaPorte Slicers football game. Uh, Chesterton at one and two takes on LaPorte zero and three. Uh, we, we It's a home game, so maybe some of you will be there. But if you're not and you can't get out or you're not here in LaPorte anymore, but you want to listen, I could tell you. Our team does a great job broadcasting those games. And so listen here tonight, um, when the game gets started, it'll be online. Uh, you can download our app as well and listen that way. Chip Jones and Steve Mannering do a great job bringing that to you. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, Bob James and his team will get their first win. It's a young team. The Slicers team is young. And so I hope they continue fighting. Uh, all you could do is play your best and hope that you do, you know, you hope you get a win. And our New Prairie Cougars, uh, go Cougars. I'm a Cougar. Uh, my kids aren't. They, they don't acknowledge New Prairie as a legitimate school. But I am a New Prairie Cougar. Um, takes on Mish Mishawaka Marion. South Central takes on Wheeler. And uh, Michigan City uh, takes on Balpo. All right, let's get to another caller. Thanks so much for listening to the show. I appreciate you. What's on your mind today? Hey, good afternoon, Nate. Hey, buddy. What's up? Uh, first and for, foremost, uh, everybody go donate some money to Dennis and everybody out there helping him. That's why you're my favorite caller, that's, buddy. That's, that's right. Yep. Yeah, that's a worthwhile cause. I mean, it's. I I, I did mine earlier. I went and made a donation, so every, you know, every little bit counts. So. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but what I, I you, you were asking, what kind of question would yeah. I ask? I would have to say from local all the way to national. Yep. I, I would say. Do you believe in that the new, the world right now is ready for the Green New Deal? Because mm. seeing what's happening in in California, you know, they, they say twenty thirty five, no more gas powered cars you can buy, and then right now they're telling the people with electric cars, please, you cannot charge them between four o'clock and nine o'clock <laughs> at night. You know, I mean, I, that's I don't know. It just it's scary. What, what's going to happen when you can't charge your your car that they made you buy? Yeah, yeah. I don't like riding bikes like I used to. Uh, you know, are we going to have to go back to the horse and carriage or what? You know, you know, maybe, maybe we should, but you know, it, it, I I think it's an interesting question because, like you said, whether or not, and I I actually do like electric cars. Every electric car, Tesla, I've been in, right. have I, been I, great. I, I don't have a problem um, with it. But, but like you said, is the infrastructure ready to make those kind of sweeping and broad yeah, changes? Yeah, I mean, they're right? only. Yeah, they're only at like four percent cars or yeah. something like that. Yeah, and and it's like you're already struggling to keep people's, you know, the, even just for their own house, not charging their car. Yeah, you know, it's like, yep. hey, life's too precious to have somebody tell you you can't turn your heat up or you can't turn your air conditioner down. Yeah, yeah. You these, know, these are that's, these that's are broad that. changes, right? These are huge sweeping. We've been on on, right. on gas it's, for it's, forever, it's so. so. Yeah. And Nipsco's going that way right now. They're getting rid of all the coal, and it's like, what's going to happen when the wind is the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining? They don't have enough batteries to hold that charge. He, he, here's know, what I you, here's you, what you, you, you got to use it. Here's what I'll say about Nipsco, though. Um, knowing enough about Nipsco and what I pay per month, they they if 
they know how to make money. So I'm going to guess they're not going to risk anything <laughs> where they don't know how to make some money. So no, but they're going to charge us a lot more. Yeah, they probably will. That's the problem. They're going to make they're going to make their money, but it's going to come from us. That's right. That's right. Um, so. I feel like it already is. You know, I feel like my yeah, school yeah, bills yeah. already went up significantly. So. But, uh, yeah, no, I agree. It, it is interesting. It, These changes, you know, everyone talks about changes that need to be made, but nobody talks about the infrastructure necessary to make the changes, right? Yeah, and that it could I mean, take a lot longer to get there. So imagine, imagine the gas station line to wait to charge your car. Mm -hmm. Everybody has an electric car, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like the gas lines back in the 70s. Well, you, you were probably too young for that, weren't you? I, I was born in the 80s, so yeah, I don't okay, I don't yeah, quite remember. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not Dennis Sedell age here, you know. Uh Dennis remembers it. Yeah. He was he was actually I think maybe in the 70s, he was maybe 60 or 70 then. So, um, you know. Uh but well, anyway. And one on a lighter note, everybody please donate a little extra money to the roof the roof set because you got to remember inflation. That's right. And again, uh, <laughs> All right. you're absolutely right. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you. Let's get to one last caller before we're done. Hey, thanks for calling. I appreciate you listening. You're our last caller of the day. What's on your mind? Um, yeah, I believe that yes, the election was showing that this country, this country is ran by the government. The Congress. Congress does everything. They do everything. I don't think our votes means class. All right. Well, thank you so much for calling. I appreciate you. We're going to be back on Monday, guys. We've got Andy Hynek and Ron Heeg on the show. Those two guys, uh, you know, we're going to talk about what's going on, what, why they're running for sheriff, uh, some of the, the ideas that either one of them has. The nice thing is I know both of those guys, they're friends. It should be a good conversation. But again, they're both running against each other. I don't think they're enemies, but they are opponents. And so, and then we've got uh, on Friday uh, the assessor race, John Mattishman and uh, Mike Schultz. And then we just got shows on from there about different candidates, different ideas. I want to thank you so much for listening. Again, final plug come down here, stop down here, uh, get yourself uh, some food. Donate some money. Every little bit counts. Make sure every child in LaPorte County, regardless of whether you have or you don't,